previously on Tokyo Zebra. Hey everyone, tomorrow is kind of a special day and this is the prep for tomorrow's special day. Basically, Wolfie is gonna go to Hoikuen, which is a Japanese nursery for the first time tomorrow. Kind of have a lot of mixed feelings about it. Definitely a little bit sad about this whole entire process of him leaving the house and not like seeing him as much during the day. Yeah, it's just kind of one of those things like we feel like I'm losing my boy and like I almost feel kind of guilty not being able to be there and raise him. He's officially one year and four months. I don't know, that might be early in some standards, it might be late in some standards. If you compare it to other people here in Japan, a lot of kids actually start from zero years. I think it's just because of the culture here, everyone works. Michael and I are not too much different. We both work really hard on our channel and but man, it's just been so cool this last year. Just watching him grow. He's just been doing so many cool things lately. I feel like he's finally learning how to communicate with us. And he's just becoming a little person and it's like becoming more enjoyable to be with him, do stuff with him. Kind of sad that I'm not going to be able to see all those like little moments. <laughs> You know, <laughs> kind of getting sad right now. <laughs> I also want to feel like I'm going to cry. We're going to cry tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to go with a Japanese nursery. We did look at several English nurseries and they're really good. Ultimately, I think it would be a great opportunity for him to be able to speak English, um, which is getting from us in the house, especially for me. I go speak kind of like half and half. And then also cost wise, it's just night and day difference. Having him go to an English nursery is at minimum $2,000, at least in Tokyo. At the moment, maybe just a little bit too expensive. We also did need to prepare quite a lot. To be fair, Maiko's done a lot of the prep work. Michael's what have done all the work. I just said to be fair. <laughs> Who bought the hat? Who bought the hat? I got, I bought this hat. <laughs> to make him feel better, I gave him one chore out of million <laughs> to buy a hat. <laughs> So one of the requirements was Ovi had to have a hat and it had to have a little elastic band and so I got him this hat, Hot Biscuits Railway Company. Just to show you some of the stuff that we had to prepare, towels, a load of diapers, this little bag, and then inside of this bag, change of clothes, two sets of clothes. Four. <laughs> I think four sets of clothes. <laughs> has a jacket and then he has like two sets of towels. Yeah, so I'm gonna write his, just write it here where it doesn't touch his skin. He has his name on his hat. So, obviously I'm sad. As Pablo said, I am the one who's basically preparing for everything. So like when I was preparing and like filing all of his paperwork, and I was imagining how his first day is gonna be like. I know he's gonna be crying, and I'm gonna be crying, and Paul is gonna be crying. It's by the fact that Wolfie is gonna be alone, I mean, he's gonna like be left. He feels like oh, mommy and daddy are leaving me forever. Yeah, and so I was trying to like tell Wolfie all day like okay, you're gonna go to the nursery tomorrow. Mommy and daddy are gonna leave you, but we are going to come back and then I'm like telling him over and over again but like he understands us now I think it's important to tell him and then so how did you feel about the English versus the Japanese nursery I think he should learn Japanese and English both teach English and if he doesn't learn very well maybe we should use English school yeah I think he'll learn both languages Either way, the culture is probably like the most important. So I do want him to learn Japanese culture and yeah, understand. Yeah. Also manners. Manners, food education, little parts of Japan. And I think you learn that in school. I think I respect like, Japanese culture and like how they do things enough that I think it's like very important that he learns it. Also at the end of the day, learning English just provides more opportunity. Yeah on an international scale. Even mm. if he did want to live in Japan for the rest of his life, having English as a second language or even as a first language, it's just going to give him more opportunities. Um, yeah. So I do know like Japanese people here and just because they speak English as well, uh, they have way better paying jobs. Yep. Who knows if he wants to be creative as well, like it also offers more chances for him to do stuff creatively if he has at least two languages. Mm -hmm. Just before we go, Wolfie's diaper. We will catch you guys, I guess, tomorrow when we are getting him ready. <laughs>
Thank you. Good job. Today is your big day, dude. You ready? So this is how our regular mornings are like, but starting today, it's gonna change a bit since Wolfie starts nursery. As parents, we're a bit nervous as we've never left Wolfie alone with anyone like this. <laughs> are you sleeping now? Oh, good morning! And even Maiko is up early this morning. She's usually in charge of the night shift taking care of Wolfie when he wakes up, so she normally sleeps in. But today I guess is a big day for all of us. Hey, Wolfie, you want some water? Yeah, you want water? Are you trying to be like mommy? It's a bittersweet moment as we do see the positives in Wolfie learning how to be with other kids and making new friends, but we'll just miss being with him all day and seeing him become a little person. I guess this is part of growing up. Not only for Wolfie, but Michael and I as well. Ready to go? Ready to go? Ready to go? Going outside, you gotta put on your shoes. Ready to go? Okay, Wolfie's all packed up. Time for him to have his first day at a Japanese nursery. Okay, so he's back. Or he's not back. He's gone. He was crying so much. It's crazy how he knew right away. Usually he doesn't cry like that. This is for Mario Sorry, about. We're good? I think so. For two hours. Oh. Well, I'm just gonna get ready using this time. Yeah, so I think we need to upload the, the video. So we have Wolfie dropped off. I was a little bit sad, or maybe a little bit. Very sad. <laughs> oh. I miss him so much, I'm worried. It was, it was a lot sad, but the way things work probably might be similar, but they have this thing where it's called Narashi Hoiku, meaning that you don't let them stay for like the entire day, but you do it like slowly after a couple weeks. And so the first day he's actually only gonna be there for two hours. We gotta pick him up in 15 minutes. Yeah, 20? yeah, I know. Oh. I can't wait to pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that long. <laughs> so quick, huh? When we did drop him off, he cried heavily. I feel like he knew that something was not right because once he like we got him inside, he just started to cry, which he doesn't do usually. And then also like earlier when I told him, I sat down and like, hey man, we're gonna take you to the nursery today. He's like, huh? and he's like trying to like hug me. And I'm like, so you're gonna be okay. He's like, huh? Huh? he's like trying to like hug me. So. Hopefully he is not crying anymore. Um, hopefully he's just like able to power through. He knows, I mean, we love him. Let us know in the comments uh, if you have gone through this or what your experiences have been. If you also have this type of nursery process where you only like do it for a couple hours. So yeah, we'll pick him up in 15 minutes and see how he is. <laughs> we are back, Wolfie is okay. Happy? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mama! Yes! yes. Mama, there you go. Oh, I miss you. Okay. So basically, he, I don't think he was crying, but as soon as he saw me, he started to cry. But then after I held him, he stopped crying for a little bit. He was okay. Um, apparently, after we dropped him off, he stopped crying. He played with some toys, like his favorite toy was this like toy water gun. What's nice about this place is that they kind of write a report all online and they even have like pictures that they take every day so after that report they're gonna kind of show us the the pictures of him like playing and everything these are the pictures apparently yeah yeah you're back good daddy so yeah that two hours went by pretty fast right yeah it was really fast uh, mama yes mm, you miss me huh mm, miss me. mama yes he never calls me mama like that ever. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna end it here. Mama! Um, yes! 
Thank you guys so much for being a part of this channel and kind of sharing these moments with us. If you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to our life, hit that subscribe button and the bell button and we'll catch you guys in the next one. 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 Good job.